Ay, Dios mío, ustedes saben lo nerviosa y lo feliz que estoy al mismo tiempo. Les cuento rapidito. Hoy estamos con dos invitados internacionales. Ya vieron quiénes son, quienes vienen a ofrecer un concierto de primera mañana mismo. Y qué mejor lugar para darse a conocer y darnos detalles de qué va a pasar mañana con un grupo icónico con más de dos décadas de carrera. Épica, con nosotros hoy, Simón Simón y Mark Jensen. Welcome guys, it's a pleasure to me being here. I love you so much. Thank you for How having do us. you feel? Feel amazing. Yeah. Happy to be here. And yeah. you? Me too. Hi. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Tengo que decir algo. Ellos están felices de, acá, de estar acá, pero what a beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. Bellísimos ojos. This is your second time in Honduras, right? Sí. How do you feel? What do you expect from the Honduran people? Well, the last, or the first time we played here was in 2017, and uh, we had uh, an amazing time. We always love to be here, uh, escape the winter where we live, and uh, the best audience are, yeah, are here. So I expect nothing less for tomorrow. Ay, les pregunté, muchachos. Ellos estuvieron acá. Ya es la segunda vez que están y dice que se sienten felices de estar aquí en Honduras, que tienen una audiencia divina y esperando que pase mañana, right? Are you happy? Have you ever tried a Honduran food yet? Um, no? No, we, we ate basically Italian food. But we should, Italian? we should. I had something this morning. Paliada. No. No, like the uh, banana cakes. Guacamole with... Ah, guacamole. With some kind of potato banana thing. <laughs> What's good? Les pregunto que si ya probaron comida hondureño. Mark me dice que solo comida italiana. Y Simón me dice que algo, una especie como de guacamole con unos... De banana, no sé, hay que llevarlos a comer baleadas, muchachos. Ok, I want to ask something. As a band, what or how do you feel about performing in Latin America country, like Honduras, where we don't speak English, for example? I think this is the where you prove that the music does not have boundaries. Les pregunté que cómo se sienten de tocar en un país latinoamericano donde no hablan nada de inglés. Bueno, hablamos un poco y que la música no tiene barreras. I think music is a universal language. So. Oh, I agree. Good one. What do you, or did you want to say that? <laughs> yeah, that I, I transported that message in, ah, into okay. your mind. Yeah. No, but I agree. And uh, uh, English is our language with the, with the lyrics, but uh, many young people actually do speak yeah. English. Mm -hmm. And when people truly want to understand the lyrics, they also can translate it. Mm -hmm. And music is foremost most important and who wants to dive deeper into the music and into the band can also uh, dive into the lyrics. I totally agree. Ellos me dicen que la música, claro que es un lenguaje universal y que las nuevas generaciones, obviamente, ya hablamos un poquito más de inglés, que se sienten felices de estar acá y que me encantan. Another question. Are the Latin fans as passionate as others where you have been performing? Or any countries, any more, continents. More yeah, passion. There is, there is a lot of passion. People are uh, very energetic. Uh, it's, I don't know, people feel more free to express their happiness and to just enjoy the music. And uh, sometimes the audience is so loud, I cannot hear myself. <laughs> Everybody's singing the songs. It's amazing. It's always a pleasure. Les pregunto qué es. ¿Cómo son los fans hondureños o latinoamericanos si son más apasionados que otros? Ellos dicen que, claro, son tan apasionados que a veces ella ni se escucha cantando de lo fuerte que cantan. Claro, los latinos tenemos sangre caliente, me encanta. What has been the most difficult challenging moment through the 20 years of your career? The most difficult? Yes. One of, I thought I think so. And yeah, we were the first band, the first metal band to perform in uh, Tunisia. Mm. And that was quite a challenge because the, the authorities before never allowed metal bands to enter the country and we were the first one. Wow. So we got all the, the treatment like uh, three times drug dogs passing in our uh, dressing room to see if we had anything. Uh, but it was also a wonderful experience at the same time because the, the, the crowd was crying of happiness because there was finally they saw an international metal band playing in the country. Mm. So it was unforgettable, difficult, but also unforgettable at the same time. Le pregunto a Mark que dónde, bueno, que me contara uno de los momentos más difíciles de la carrera durante 20 años. Dice que fueron la primer banda que tocó en Tunisia, una banda de metal tocando en ese país donde las autoridades no permitían ese tipo de música 
¿Y qué fue? Inolvidable, claro. Me encanta. Thank you. Another question. Do you admire any or some Latin band? Do you know Latin artists? Shakira. Ah, oh, Shakira. <laughs> my cousin. She's my cousin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. You, look, you, you look the same, but you're way more beautiful. Ay, thank you. Les pregunto que si admiran algún artista latino. Y ella me dice, claro. ¿Quién? La mejor. Shakira. And you? Um, yeah, for when you talk about metal bands, I know quite some. So I, I like, like, for example, when you go really down south to Brazil, I like Sepultura. That's one of the ah, bands so why I started playing in a band myself. So they, they have been uh, of great influence. So my kudos always go to Sepultura when you talk about uh, uh, bands from, from, yeah, it's not really close by, but when you take the whole region. Dice Mark, les pregunté que, bueno, la misma pregunta que le hice a Simon, y dice que a él le encanta Sepultura, que es uno de los grupos icónicos latinoamericanos, ya conocemos, de rock, y que le encanta su influencia y que ha estado mezclado con ese tipo de música. Ahora escuchen lo que les voy a preguntar. Les cuento un chisme, vengan. Ellos dos fueron pareja. Uh, escuchen bien. Ellos dos fueron novios y siguen trabajando en la misma banda y se llevan bien. Ahora vamos a averiguar cómo hacen. You guys were together as a couple years ago. How many years? 20 years ago. 20 years ago. How were you able to continue working together and draw the We line learned. between the personal and professional life? Les pregunto que cómo hacen para llevarse bien después de haber sido novios y trabajar en la misma banda. I think we, um, when we decided to break up, we were in the band together and we wanted to preserve the band because it was special. So I think both of us were professional enough, even though it was difficult at times. Uh, if the relationship doesn't work, we still wanted to fight for the band because we thought that was something unique and special that we had and I guess that's kept us together and now we're really good friends. So, all good. Water ah. under the bridge. <laughs> Perfect. I agree. Ay, que divinos, <laughs> me encanta. Ellos dicen que el día que decidieron cortar pudo más el sentimiento de perseverar con su banda y mantener viva épica que dijeron, se acabó aquel amor pero nosotros seguimos Profesionales, de verdad que es un ejemplo que muchos deberían de tener por acá. <laughs> What do you expect for tomorrow? The concert. What do you want to see? We expect people the, screaming. the people going wild. Yes. Nothing less than, than pure magic. Ok, les pregunté que qué esperan del concierto de mañana y me dice Mark que él quiere gente salvaje, gritando que se vuelvan locos, que canten las canciones y que disfruten de este concierto que va a ser mañana, 25 de enero, escuche, 25 de enero del 2024, claro, en el Polideportivo San José del Carmen. Les cuento que yo tengo un pase doble VIP para el primero, no, pero yo lo voy a regalar a un fanático que de verdad me cante una canción o que me demuestre que es fan de Épica. Llamen por teléfono, mándenme mi WhatsApp y díganme por qué se quieren ganar este pase doble. Yo, obviamente, voy a estar en ese concierto. I have another question. Tomorrow, I want to go to the concert, right? Do I have to wear any different kind of clothes or can I go dress like this? You look like perfect this? like that. Everybody should dress the way they want to feel comfortable. And uh, I want to see you in the mosh pit tomorrow. Oh, tan divina. <laughs> Le pregunté que si yo mañana me tengo que cambiar de ropa o puedo ir así, vestida como habitualmente me he visto. Y dice que todo el mundo puede ir vestido como quieran. Así está perfecto. Saquen su, lado, sal, saquen su lado salvaje y vayan mañana al concierto. It's for me a special moment here in El Hilo. It's the first time that we have an international group like you. Thank you for being here. Thank Any you. message to other fans? in Honduras for tomorrow. Well, everybody should come see us play tomorrow. It's going to be an amazing night. We're very happy to be back here. Muchas gracias. We love you guys. Ay, qué divinos. Dicen que los esperan a todos ustedes mañana en el concierto. Gracias por verlos y les mandan mucho amor. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Simon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, too. Love you. Can I Vamos try your una... glasses? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> I know a minute. Ay, qué divina, está perfecta esta okay. mujer. You look gorgeous. I will keep them. Yes, you're not getting them back. Nos vamos a una pausa. Dice que se los queda ella, se los regalo.